Let's begin with hundreds of thousands of New York City's public school students are learning from inside the classroom. But this all comes as coronavirus cases have seen a sharp increase in New York City. CBS 2's John Diaz is live on the Lower East Side with more. John? Yeah, good afternoon, Chris. And the president of the United Federation of Teachers is saying that this is the biggest challenge they've ever taken on right now. No other large city across America is doing this in-person learning. But right now, as we speak, the city is pulling it off. They have no guidebook, no rule book to go off of. But they tell us that right now, 1,600 schools have now reopened. This is my senior year, and I wanted to live up to that. So this university neighborhood high school student was one of the first in a social distant line outside her Lower East Side school. With traditional proms and graduations still up in the air, she didn't want to miss out on anything else. I'm mad about that. It's not cool. Everything's postponed or to be decided. Today, she and thousands of other students were the third and last step of the city's three-part reopening plan to go back to in-person learning. They include middle schools, high schools, secondary schools, as well as transfer schools, adult education, and evening schools. A lot of people said it couldn't be done, and it was tough, but we did it. Students now hoping their peers act responsibly. This depends of do they care about the virus, do they care about the pandemic, do they care about the lives? I don't know what's going to go forward from now. In New York City, the daily number of COVID cases has risen above 3% in recent days, mostly because of COVID clusters, but not the seven-day average. So schools will stay open, at least for now. All we ask, right, that whatever decisions are made are not based on politics, they're not based on economics, but they're based on preserving lives. The UFT president says if this city doesn't get a handle on COVID clusters, he will demand schools in those areas close. If those numbers don't come down, this is where it's going to uh, land up in a bit of a fight, because if they can't get those numbers down, I know that the mayor is continuing to say that it's a 3% and it would be the entire city, all or none. That does not work for us. The mayor saying he's sending more resources to the now 10 zip codes with rising cases and passing out violations. But time will only tell if he shuts down schools. We're watching and the decision will be made based on the facts of whether we need to do a fuller shutdown in those communities. But so far, again, we see a real separation uh, between what's happening in some of those neighborhoods and what's happening in the public schools nearby. Now that all the students who chose in-person learning are actually back in the building, the city and the union saying they are now in what they are calling a monitoring phase, meaning that they will be checking throughout, you know, the coming weeks, months, throughout this entire pandemic to make sure that we do, no, do not go back to where we were in March. We're live this afternoon from the Lower East Side. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. That would be the goal. Okay, John, thank you.